So, good afternoon, everybody. So today, in this video, I'm going to show to you how to cross uh, gallbladder. Um, so before we start, <clears throat> so what you need to do is this is the container of the gallbladder. So what you have to do is you need to check uh, that the particulars available on this container and also this form is um, correct is uh, similar with each other especially when you need to check the name the rn of the patients uh, the what or the clinic where it's from uh, the date and the time of the specimen had been taken and what kind of uh, specimen is in this uh, container so after you check everything and make sure that everything is correct uh, similar with each other then you go uh, and check uh, the specimen that they, that, <coughs> that they sent so in this uh, container they sent one gallbladder from a cholecystectomy so this patient is having a, a chronic chole cholecystiasis uh, due to a chronic cholelithiasis so you can see first of all we need to orientate the gallbladder so what we, you can see here is this area where the surgeon tie here so this is actually the neck of the gallbladder where it's then uh, where the common bile sorry uh, common cyst cystic duct arising from so it's arising from here so where the surgeon cut the cystic duct here and tie it so it for us to easier to uh, orientate or identify so you can see the whole structure of the gallbladder is this one so you can see this is the body of the gallbladder this is again the tip of the gallbladder i'm uh, sorry the neck of the gallbladder this is the body and this part is the fundus so this this area actually is facing uh, towards the peritoneal cavity and if you see at the back here is where it attached to the liver so you can see that the surgeon will really make an incision here and reveal the the inner side of the gallbladder where you can see there's a velvety kind of uh, okay it's better where you can see there's a velvety uh, mucosa within it so um, but the, the stone is not present I think most probably the surgeon already removed the stone here so you cannot see any stone present here so again for the anatomical orientations so this is the neck of the gallbladder from here until here is the body and at the tip here is the fundus so what we have to do is this first before we cut open the gallbladder we just um, uh, measure it so usually we measure in a millimeter so this is uh, one centimeter so uh, 10 10 millimeter so first you need to measure from the neck where the surgeon cut until the fundus which is around 70 millimeter in length and then you measure the diameter of the gallbladder which is around 30 millimeter in diameter it's around here so it's 30 so that's about it you need to describe the external surface if there is any uh, uh, adhesions or fibrosis noted but in this case there's not much fibrosis if you can see here this is just uh, the area where it attached to the liver so the surgeon will cut try to remove it to separate it, the septae from the uh, gallbladder and also the liver at the back here so it's remove the uh, to remove the gallbladder so again you see other things if, if there is any lumps or any uh, invasion um, which indicates uh, it could be a malignant lesions so in this case there's no uh, other lumps of malignant condition and the 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 external is just look a little bit fibrotic 
So if I go to it, it look like this one, where there's a lot of uh, white white tissue to grayish tissue. This is how fib fibrous looks like. So this area is fibrotic. So this is, can be seen in uh, chronic inflammation, for example, in this case, chronic cholecystitis. So okay, times to time to cut up open the gallbladder. First, you need to cut and face the neck of the bladder where the surgeon make the incisions here. So when you cut it, it will look like this. Okay, so you can put it in the tissue cassette and face just to look for if there is any invasions or any uh, uh, deformity seen in the neck of the bladder. And then, so we put this aside before we put it in the cassette. Then along the incision that had been made by the surgeon, you just extend the incision. So this is just to avoid uh, destroying the, the gallbladder tissue. So you just extend it slowly so you can see the wall, the thickness of the wall here. Okay, towards the fundus. So this, this part is towards the fundus. Then we turn it around and make another extension of uh, of the cutting towards the neck of the gallbladder. So okay, so we already make already open almost. Uh, we can expose the inner mucosa of the gallbladder. We can see there's still some velvety like. Uh, features. I need to dab it as to clear some of the formalin that are present within it because it's a hollow organ so the formalin tends to accumulate at the center of the lumens. So okay now you can see you just dab it lightly avoid destroying the mucosa. So you can see all this part is the inner mucosa, inner lining of the gallbladder and you can see at this area is the fundus I already made uh, through cutting through the fundus and you can see there's some six, six changes here so sometimes this could it could be uh, Rokitansky Ashkov sinuses here you can see a few more Sinus, uh, uh, sorry, cystically dilated structure here, here, and also here. So this could be Rokitansky Ashkoff sinus, but we need to examine it under the microscopic histological findings. So for the apart from the neck, which which is here, we also need to take a few representative section of the gallbladder. But uh, for me, uh, if there is no other deformity seen in the gallbladder, we can take one representative section at the body and another one is at the fundus. So that, that will be a three sections, three representative section that we need we take we took from the gallbladder. Number one the neck, number two from the body and number three from the fundus. So maybe we can put it in uh, two or three cassette depends on the size of the section that section that it takes so i'm going to make a few more uh, longitudinal sections um, perpendicular to, uh, sorry um, which are alongside uh, these uh, initial uh, sections or initial cut just to see or to examine uh, the gallbladder wall properly so before we go into detail i'm going to take some section from the fundus then uh, we go we're going to proceed with the sectioning of the rest of the gallbladder
you need to be careful no need to rush because that can cause some injury later so don't rush even though you finish crossing now you won't be able to examine the the histological uh, findings yet because you need to process this tissue so just be careful and make sure that you are uh, you are stay safe so you won't hurt and won't injure yourself so i arrange this is the neck and this this is the fundus the neck the fundus and in between there i put some uh, the body the section from the body okay i already take the section from the neck then we need to uh, make a, some serial sectioning of the body just to examine if there is any lumps or any changes that are seen in the called by the wall so as you cut it as you make a section you examine it so this is just a very thin layer of uh, wall we can measure it and put it in our description so i will take the the, the thickest thicker most uh, wall which is located at the fundus here it's around 12 mm yep around 12 mm here it's actually from here until here okay so make another few more section sorry because this is just a test run for uh, uh, live session <laughs> so I, I, I can't uh, concentrate on the question if you have questions you can ask afterwards and I try or you can ask right now but I will uh, try to answer it afterwards but this is just a simple case of uh, chronic cholecystitis you won't see any much uh, findings so this is another so as you cut or make a section you just examine the wall same goes here and uh, you need a few more towards the other side so there's no hard and fast rule regarding crossing but you need to be a little bit thorough for your crossing and try as hard as possible not to destroy the integrity of the specimen because you need sometimes we need to go back to the specimen if you make a very mass destruction with your specimen will be a problem to orientate it later so there's nothing much in the wall so i think that's um, almost a wrap so we need to take some section from the body so i take around i think because of the features or the the the, the gross finding is almost the same i take i can take i think i would like to take here because why because you can see there's a, some fat tissue here so you can see the the i said the 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 whole thickness from the mucosa inside here sub mucosa muscularis layer and also some fatty tissue here so it's is a very nice uh, section of the goblet wall so it's okay you make a cut like here like this you just cut through and through there because sometimes you need to sacrifice uh, some of the section here but make sure you don't uh, destroy everything okay again be careful uh, it's nice to have a forcep like here so that you won't cut your hand or your fingers so you make a thin section so because we, want, we wanted to embed it in the cassette like so so you can see histologically from the uh, mucosa up to the fatty layer so you, you need to embed it like this so the thickness of this the thickness means from from this side to the other side should be less than 0.5 mm so that it will fit to the thickness of the cassettes okay 
So I think that's about enough. That's about, that's already represent the whole gold blazer. But if there is a, some findings, let's say you see some um, dysplasia seen in the fundus or in the body or, or might be in the neck, you could come back to the specimen and regross it and take further take a lot, uh, how you say, take some more section from the, the rest of the specimen so that uh, you won't miss anything. But if there is just a features of uh, inflammation or cholecystitis, then you, you can rest assured that this uh, what we take is already representative. So I'm going to take the cassette and arrange it, this tree tissue in the cassette and I will come back to you. Okay, so times to arrange. Uh, so I will put it in uh, two cassettes. Okay. It's okay. So cassette number one, I will put the neck, the section from the neck, and also the section from the body. So this will put um, enough uh, section there and the other one I will put it the fundus of the gallbladder so don't cram even though there's some space left here so for example you want to cram into one cassette even though there is some space uh, available here and here maybe you can squeeze in the neck here and you know, also the body here but I'm not recommending, recommending that because uh, if you cram everything in one cassette during the tissue processing the tissue this tissue all of these three in if you put it in one cassette won't be fixed won't be processed well so there will be some problem there will be a lot of uh, uh, fixative artifacts uh, that you will be see in the uh, histological section so it is better if, if some uh, one tissue is big like this then it's, it's fair to separate into two cassettes and so by that uh, I think that's uh, I think that's wrap my video so uh, this is just a simple case of uh, uh, cholecystitis uh, chronic cholecystitis uh, uh, secondary to uh, cholelithiasis stone in the gallbladder so I think uh, I will wrap this uh, and I will try to come more with uh, a, prop, a, a, a nicer specimen to cross uh, in the future by that thank you if you have any questions you can direct uh, comments down here or you can uh, DM me through Facebook, WhatsApp, or uh, uh, Twitter, Instagram. I, I, I'm available on all those media. Even on TikTok, also I, I'm, I'm on. So you, you can, you can, you can ask me anywhere. Okay, by that, thank you. Uh, hope to see you again later. Goodbye. I'm Dr. Spanjo.